So your Uncle Spurt moved into a new house about three months ago and to say it's a bit of a fixer-upper is an understatement. Kind of like saying Jacob Rees Mogg is quite posh or Jimmy Savile was a bit of a wrong'un. For example, when we first moved in, we didn't actually have a proper heating system at all. In fact, where the old thermostat used to be, there was just a massive bloody hole in the wall. And so, being a tech spod, I took the opportunity to get a fully-fledged smart home heating system installed and decided to go with a bit of Tador. A German rival to the likes of Hive just brought out its fresh new Tador X heating system. Now I've had Tado X installed here in Techspert Towers for just over a month now, so I thought I'd share my early impressions. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now, unlike the older Tado V3 setup, Tado X uses thread for communication. And the main difference here is that it's a mesh-based system, so every Tado X device can communicate with every other Tado X device. And this will be great news for any proper rich folk with massive homesteads where you've got radiator valves scattered all over the place. Used to be the case where if a valve was too far away from your home Wi-Fi router, then it would probably lose communication and you wouldn't be able to actually control it. But with a mesh-based system like Thread, you don't need to worry about every single device being within range of a single central hub. As long as it's near another radiator valve or some other Tado X gizmo, then it'll still be part of the network. Now for my Tado X home setup, I've got a wireless receiver connected to my combi boiler. I've got a thermostat out in the hallway, and then I've got a set of four smart radiator valves. And setup is thankfully as simple as it could possibly be. This is the box that one of my radiator valves came in. As you can see, as soon as you open it up, you get your valve out. You're immediately instructed to download the Tado app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once you've installed the app on your smartphone, just jump into the settings tab down below, tap rooms and devices, and you'll see there's an add device option. And this is the point where you simply scan the QR code that's on the lid of the box here. With any luck, you'll get a device found message. Just tap down here to start the registration. Your phone and your Tado X gizmo will pair up wisely, and then you'll actually be led through the installation process step by step in the app, showing you exactly how to get your new radiator valve or whatever else fitted. Fully illustrated as you can see there, and Tado's also done video tutorials online. You can jump on to the Tado website and check those out. As I say, I've got a receiver hooked up to my combi boiler, but if you've got a slightly different heating setup, no worries. Tado X has got a variety of different kits, including a good bit of heat pump action. So yeah, overall setup of the Tado X, I would give a massive thumbs up to. It's so simple that even a semi-soused Sunland boy like myself could do it without electrocuting himself. Now, as I say, I've got a pack of four radiator valves, which I highly recommend if you want full control over the heating in individual rooms. These are nice and dinky, and I absolutely love the digital display on them. Clearly shows you the current temperature in the room, as well as the desired temperature. Now, each radiator valve has a built-in rechargeable battery slapped on the back end, which can be simply twisted off and recharged when needed using a Type-C USB cable. That should be the same thing that your smartphone uses to charge. And apparently a full charge of one of these batteries should last you a year, so not too much hassle at all. However, do bear in mind that if you don't have a thread compatible Wi-Fi router, you will have to also purchase a Tado Bridge X. This will make your home Wi-Fi network thread compatible so all of the Tado X devices can communicate. No worries, you can have as many radiator valves as you like basically. And this just plugs into any spare socket in your home and then connects to your existing Wi-Fi router in a couple of minutes. Again, just follow those handy in-app instructions and you're golden. Now, once you're all set up with Tado X, you can, of course, manually adjust the temperature in your home at any time using the physical thermostat. But naturally, the whole point of having a smart heating system in the first place is the automation and the app control. So the only time that thermostat's seen any action is when my daughter's decided it's far too chilly in here for her liking and boosted the temperature up to tropical levels. And annoyingly, while the radiator valves do have a child lock feature so they can't fiddle with it without your knowledge, there is a bugger all such feature for the old thermostat. But anyhow, you've set up and registered all of your various Tado X devices, and then whenever you launch the Tado app, you should be presented with a dashboard similar to this. 
Every Tadawax gizmo can be assigned to a different room. So as you can see there, we've got hallway, bedroom, studio, etc., etc. You can see the current temperature and the desired temperature in each individual room. And if you give them a little tap, you can manually adjust the temperature, make it hotter or colder. And you can also quickly and easily turn off your heating with a quick tap up here. And you can also boost the heating if you're feeling a bit chilly. You want to warm everything up. I also like the color code in here so you can see exactly which rooms are actively heating and which ones aren't. And you've got a few other features you can play around with as well. Now, one of the best features of any smart home system is, of course, the schedule. And you can set a schedule for any individual room by tapping on it and then tapping this little calendar icon up at the top. Otherwise, alternatively, just go to settings and then tap smart schedule. You've got all your individual room schedules listed right there. And I found that scheduling with Tadox was about as simple as it could possibly be. So as you can see, you can set a schedule for each individual day in every room. Just give a particular day a tap and you'll see all the individual time blocks and the temperature that it's set to. You can tweak this simply by tapping on a time block, changing up the start and end times and the desired temperature. And you can also add in extra time blocks if you want to. And then if you don't want to have to do this for every single day, well, nice and easy, just tap this little copy icon down here and then you can paste it into any other day. And so far, Touchwood had absolutely bugger all issues with the scheduling, just works as expected. And like most smart heating setups, you've also got a bit of geofencing action. Once you allow the Tadow app to track your location, it will then know exactly when you're at home thanks to your smartphone's GPS. And you can then define your home area now, by default, this is set to a distance of 440 yards. So as soon as you get more than 440 yards away from your home, the Tadawax system will be like, right, he's buggered off. Let's switch to away mode. And you can also manually set it via the app like so. And when you are in away mode, you'll see that all your heating switches off by default. You've just got a bit of frost protection there. Make sure your pipes don't freeze. And I found that auto geofencing works really well. Usually it takes a wee bit longer than the requisite 440 yards to recognize that I am away and switch to away mode, but not much at all. And the best part is that when you're returning home, it'll clock that you're almost back and then switch the heating on before you even stick your key in the front door. So at least the place is warming up nicely by the time you get back. And of course, if you want it fully heated by the time you get back, you can just boost that distance. And no worries if you've got other people living with you, they just need the Tado app installed on their smartphones as well. And then if only one of you goes off out for the day, the others won't be left sat in the cold. Now, the only problem with the geofencing is if you want the auto feature enabled, you will have to pay a subscription fee to Tado, 30 quid a year for their auto assist program. But hey, don't fret too hard if you don't want to spaff out an extra 30 quid a year for auto assist because geofencing will still work. What will happen instead is once you've headed on out and the Tado app recognizes that you've gone, it'll pop up a wee notification saying, do you want to switch to away mode? You just have to respond to that notification. And with the auto assist, you get a couple of other bonus features as well, including energy IQ. And this can reveal exactly how much you're spunking out on your heat. And you've got a handy cost simulator, which shows you just how much money you would save if you knock down the heat in just a little bit in one or more rooms. But my favorite feature was definitely inside of the heat and insights. You can see exactly how much you're spending heat in individual rooms and figure out if there are any rooms in particular that are proven quite troublesome. I didn't realize just how much we were spending heat in our living room, for instance. So you can make any adjustments to help, again, save a bit of cash. And the Tado app can even advise when it's probably time to open a couple of windows and get a little bit of fresh air in. Let's make it so the place doesn't stink of curry and Doritos when you've got guests coming around. So in my short time with the Tado X thus far, I've really enjoyed it. I certainly approved of the easy setup process. Although just bear in mind, if you don't have a thread compatible router, you'll need to get that Tado bridge. And also remember to install the Tado bridge before any of your other Tado X devices, because I made the mistake of installing the thermostat and then chucking in the Tado bridge. And everything was working fine until about a week, two weeks later, the thermostat suddenly showed as disconnected offline. I tried doing a factory reset of the thermostat, I tried basically all of the troubleshooting, nothing worked until finally I clocked that I needed to reset the Tado bridge, get that reinstalled on the system, and then add the thermostat and all the other devices, and then it was working absolutely fine. So yeah, don't make my mistake, because that drove me slightly nuts for a while. 
A Tado app, nice and clear and simple to understand, easy to use. The automation has worked flawlessly. Of course, not everyone will appreciate having to stump up an extra 30 quid for the auto assist features. But if you want to save a bit of extra cash, Tado X should still work perfectly well. You've got all the best features chucked in there still. And the geofencing will still work, just requires one extra step rather than being fully automated. So anyway, my lovelies, that in a tasty wee nutshell is the Tado X Smart Heating System. I'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.